9 is your time. Last week's season premiere of The Gifted was a history-making episode as Polaris gave birth and nearly destroyed an entire city in the process. Yeah, that's right. So where does the Fox hit set in the Marvel X-Men universe go from there? Good day, Atlanta's Paul Milliken is live on the show's Atlanta set this morning. And Paul, you're working to get some scoop on the upcoming mm -hmm. season, right? I know you're digging deep. I'm trying. You know, I'm an investigator at heart. That's what I'm trying to do. I do love this guy. So when we showed up today, they gave us our mutant badges to wear. So I feel like an official mutant now. I'm not sure what my powers are, but I feel like they have something to do with shutting Buck down. That is my mutant power. I'm still in training. I'm trying to hone that power, but at some point it's going to become really successful and everybody out there, don't worry. I'm going to shut that guy down. We're standing on the rooftop set right now. This is pretty cool. So you look at it from this angle and it really looks like we're on the rooftop. I mean, there's even a drain in the floor. You've got the caulking. You've got all of the uh, you know bricks around and stuff like that. But then you look off the rooftop and, well, there's no city out there. It's just a big green screen. That's Hollywood magic. Hollywood of the South magic, we should say. And speaking of that, one of the coolest effects in the entire show is the creation of the Frost Sisters. If you've been watching The Gifted, and they're my favorite characters, there are three of them. Turns out there's only one woman behind the three Frost Sisters, and here's how it happens. Most actors would give anything to play just one character from the Marvel Universe, so Skylar Samuels must be thrilled to play three. This is where I'm giving birth. Lovely. What, what is it? It was originally a munitions warehouse, all stone and concrete. Samuel stars on the Fox hit The Gifted as the Frost Sisters. And as you can imagine, it takes a lot of labor to bring triplets to life every week. I've got two incredible girls, Amber Irwin and Rebecca Ray, and we all dress up in little blonde wigs in the same outfits, <laughs> and um, they will help me sort of rotate as I play different sisters, so it's sort of like musical chairs. Yeah. I'll start as one, and then they'll be like, reset, and then I run to the other, and then Amber or Rebecca will take the place of the sister I just was, and we just sort of, boop, 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 we bounce around. And we also have a really incredible visual effects team who will be with us as we're filming and show me on playback where in space all of the girls are. Yeah. So I can actually make sure that when I throw the side eye to one sister, the other <laughs> sister is actually looking at that sister and that the timing of that all matches up. All right, let's lock it up. But visual effects aside, playing three characters means giving three performances, not to mention memorizing triple the lines. Oh my God, my scripts, it's like staples went to town. It's like there's color coordinated. Oh, like, I love it. You know, Sophie is always in blue highlighter. Uh, Esme is always in pink. Phoebe is always in orange. And when we speak in unison, it's in yellow. And then like when they do red mental tricks, it's in purple. It's like a rainbow exploded all over my script. Oh my gosh, so we have a system. Just to think about. I'm constantly looking for highlighters. This <laughs> might explain why. But... Isn't that Christmas <laughs> presents, birthday presents, and Please, highlighters. if you see me on the street and you have a spare highlighter, I will take it. For Good Day Atlanta, I'm Paul Milliken. And thank you again to Fox Publicity for coordinating that interview. Skylar is great. And again, she is so organized to know what character she's playing at what time. Now, she mentioned she wants highlighters for a Christmas present, but I have another little bit of scoop for you. Her favorite thing on set are the little gummy candies here. Now, craft services on the gifted set is top notch. Let me tell you guys, Michelle and Blaze already had a great omelet breakfast. But if you're a fan of Skylar Samuels, you want to send a gift. She likes the little gummy fruit snacks here. And apparently, she and actress Grace Byers kind of fight over the fruit snacks and try to steal each other's food. Very much like the Good Day Atlanta family. The more I hear about what happens on the set here, I feel like it's what happens with us too. Candy stealing, mm -hmm. you know, people trying to Listen, catch man. a little nap between the times they have to be on camera, finding little areas to hide and get some <laughs> quiet. It's very much like Good Day Atlanta. And we, of course, are mutants too, so yeah. it works out perfectly. You, you should see enough. what's happening in the, uh, in the conference room right now. Right now, if you had any idea what was going on in that conference room. Lots of yummy food. In oh, there. come on. And I'm not there. Come on. Yeah. And, and I'm guess not what? There. We're not going to save you a bit. Right. Just I'll like stay you know, all here. that stuff you never bring back. Sorry, it's going to all be gone when you get back. That's fine. We got someone making omelets back here. Yeah, for yeah, We're yeah. good. Trust me. We are good here. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, oh, yeah. And Paul. you're a mutant anyway. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. You can uh, catch an all new The Gifted tomorrow night here on Fox 5. The show airs at 8 p.m., followed by an all new Lethal Weapon at 9. And contestants in a 